and commenced, let us be big-hearted and party and nation-loving enough to continue. Let me add that a leader must have a scheme, both in terms of the subject areas of governance and in personnel picking. Of this, Busia was a great thinker and planner. In 1969, I was just a fresh graduate, but I can say I had gathered that Professor Sai was going to be Minister for Health if he had won the Osu seat, and A. A. Munifi was billed to be the first Minister for Rural Development, which indeed happened. These are, there are times when a visionary leader clearly identifying which square pegs he must put in, which unique square holes must be listened to in the process of political shuttling, processing, and placements. Busia was great indeed, and he could identify talent from afar. Listen, all of us, whether in parliament, Jubilee House, ministries, elsewhere, must develop systematic approaches and selfless commitment towards mentoring the youth who, by the natural course of events, must lead the party and the nation tomorrow. And the youth must allow and avail themselves to the process of, part of, polit of political acculturation. Busia could also mentor indirectly through remote inspiration. It was a case of letting your light so shine before men that they will see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. I met this great man in my father's house in Asamankesi, where my father was treasurer of the UGCC and later GCP, NLM, and UP around the mid-1950s. During those days, Asamankesi was a busy business center, and when rallies were held, the big shows would retire to my father's house for refreshment. I joined in serving them with delight. I saw Dangwa, I saw Busia, and the others in the process. I admired them all with childlike delight, but I took to Busia, who appeared to me to be extremely cool, calculated, and super knowledgeable. <laughs> Dangwa was a doctor, but Busia was a professor. This intrigued me. It was, an in, it was intriguing to know they were both doctors who did not administer medicine, but they had studied to obtain the highest level degree, PhD, Doctor of Philosophy in Books. Busia was Okunini doctor, like Dr. Agri, whom we were learning about. Busia had moved further and become a beautiful professor. We heard this on radio, read in the newspapers, and it was spoken and mentioned in political discourses. As an inquisitive boy, I had asked him questions and I wanted to be like him, period. So it was what? So it was that when I was in University of Ghana, Legon, and my master was being attacked in the newspapers, the way you have just heard, I had to do something. Please allow me to engage in reminiscence a while. 